I'm Alex. Where are you from? I'm Sophie. I'm originally from London. What do you do for a living? I work as a graphic designer. What do you do for a living? I work as a graphic designer. What's your favorite hobby? I enjoy hiking and outdoor activities. What's your favorite hobby? I enjoy hiking and outdoor activities. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two younger brothers. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two younger brothers. Are you a student or working? I'm currently working as a teacher. Are you a student or working? I'm currently working as a teacher. Have you lived here long? I've been here for about five years. Have you lived here long? I've been here for about five years. Do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I love trying out new recipes. Do you enjoy cooking? Yes, I love trying out new recipes. What's your favorite type of music? I love listening to classical music. What's your favorite type of music? I love listening to classical music. How many years have you been doing this job? It's been exactly two years. How many years have you been doing this job? It's been exactly two years. Do you like to travel? Yes, I love visiting new countries. Do you like to travel? Yes, I love visiting new countries. Do you prefer the city or countryside? I prefer the city for its vibrancy. Do you prefer the city or countryside? I prefer the city for its vibrancy. What's your favorite way to stay active? I like going for long bike rides. What's your favorite way to stay active? I like going for long bike rides. What's a memorable experience you've had recently? I went on a hot air balloon ride. What's a memorable experience you've had recently? I went on a hot air balloon ride. What's a fun fact about you? I've been to over 20 countries. What's a fun fact about you? I've been to over 20 countries. Do you prefer the mountains or the beach? I prefer the beach for its relaxing atmosphere. Do you prefer the mountains or the beach? I prefer the beach for its relaxing atmosphere. Can I have a latte, please? Certainly. Would you like that with skim milk or whole milk? Can I have a latte, please? Certainly. Would you like that with skim milk or whole milk? I'd like a slice of chocolate cake. Sure, right away. I'd like a slice of chocolate cake. Sure, right away. Can you make my coffee extra hot? Sure, I'll make sure it's piping hot for you. Can you make my coffee extra hot? Sure, I'll make sure it's piping hot for you. Is there a vegan option for the pastry? Yes, we have a delicious vegan muffin. Is there a vegan option for the pastry? Yes, we have a delicious vegan muffin. Could I get a refill on this coffee? Of course, I'll bring that right over. Could I get a refill on this coffee? Of course, I'll bring that right over. What's your most popular drink? Our caramel macchiato is a favorite among customers. What's your most popular drink? Our caramel macchiato is a favorite among customers. Do you have any gluten-free options? Yes, we have gluten-free cookies available. Do you have any gluten-free options? Yes, we have gluten-free cookies available. Can I get my tea iced instead? Absolutely, I'll prepare it iced for you. Can I get my tea iced instead? Absolutely, I'll prepare it iced for you. How long will it take for my order? It should be ready in about five minutes. I prefer the beach for its relaxing atmosphere. How long will it take for my order? It should be ready in about five minutes. I prefer the beach for its relaxing atmosphere. Can I add a shot of espresso to my mocha? 
Sure, I'll add that for you. Can I add a shot of espresso to my mocha? Sure, I'll add that for you. Could you direct me to the nearest bus stop? Head down this road and take the second left. Could you direct me to the nearest bus stop? Head down this road and take the second left. Is there a shortcut to the park? Yes, take the alley next to the grocery store. Is there a shortcut to the park? Yes, take the alley next to the grocery store. How do I get to the library from here? Walk straight, then turn right at the traffic lights. How do I get to the library from here? Walk straight, then turn right at the traffic lights. Where is the closest ATM? It's just around the corner, next to the bakery. Where is the closest ATM? It's just around the corner, next to the bakery. Can you tell me how to reach the museum? Go past the post office and it's on your left. Can you tell me how to reach the museum? Go past the post office and it's on your left. How far is the train station from here? It's about a 10-minute walk straight down this street. How far is the train station from here? It's about a 10-minute walk straight down this street. What's the quickest route to the airport? Take the highway. It should take around 25 minutes. What's the quickest route to the airport? Take the highway. It should take around 25 minutes. Can you point me to the nearest supermarket? It's right across the street, next to the pharmacy. Can you point me to the nearest supermarket? It's right across the street, next to the pharmacy. Which way to the nearest restaurant? Walk two blocks ahead, and it'll be on your right. Which way to the nearest restaurant? Walk two blocks ahead, and it'll be on your right. How do I get to the concert venue from here? Turn left at the next intersection, and it'll be on your left. How do I get to the concert venue from here? Turn left at the next intersection, and it'll be on your left. What's the forecast for today? It's expected to be sunny with a high of 22 degrees Celsius. What's the forecast for today? It's expected to be sunny with a high of 22 degrees Celsius. Will it be cold this weekend? Yes, temperatures are dropping to around 10 degrees Celsius. Will it be cold this weekend? Yes, temperatures are dropping to around 10 degrees Celsius. Is it going to snow tomorrow? There's a chance of light snow in the morning. Is it going to snow tomorrow? There's a chance of light snow in the morning. How's the weather looking for a picnic? It should be clear, but there might be a breeze. How's the weather looking for a picnic? It should be clear, but there might be a breeze. What's the chance of rain this evening? There's a 20% chance of rain later tonight. What's the chance of rain this evening? There's a 20% chance of rain later tonight. Will it be windy today? Yes, expect gusts up to 30 km per hour. Will it be windy today? Yes, expect gusts up to 30 km per hour. What's the weather like in the mountains? It's quite chilly and cloudy there right now. What's the weather like in the mountains? It's quite chilly and cloudy there right now. Is it humid today? Yes, it's quite muggy with high humidity levels. Is it humid today? Yes, it's quite muggy with high humidity levels. How warm will it be tomorrow? It's expected to reach 28 degrees Celsius with plenty of sunshine. How warm will it be tomorrow? It's expected to reach 28 degrees Celsius with plenty of sunshine. Are we expecting any storm soon? There's a storm warning for late afternoon. Are we expecting any storm soon? There's a storm warning for late afternoon. I've got a sore throat. What should I do? Try drinking warm teas and get some rest. I've got a sore throat. What should I do? Try drinking warm teas and get some rest. My back hurts a lot. Any advice? 
consider seeing a physiotherapist for a proper evaluation. My back hurts a lot. Any advice? Consider seeing a physiotherapist for a proper evaluation. What's a good remedy for a headache? Hydrate well and rest in a dark, quiet room. What's a good remedy for a headache? Hydrate well and rest in a dark, quiet room. How can I reduce stress at work? Try taking short breaks and practicing relaxation techniques. How can I reduce stress at work? Try taking short breaks and practicing relaxation techniques. I've been feeling quite fatigued. Could it be anemia? It might be worth checking with your doctor for a blood test. I've been feeling quite fatigued. Could it be anemia? It might be worth checking with your doctor for a blood test. What should I do if I have an upset stomach? Stick to bland foods and stay hydrated. What should I do if I have an upset stomach? Stick to bland foods and stay hydrated. Is it normal to have occasional joint pain? Occasional joint pain can be normal, but persistent pain should be checked by a doctor. Is it normal to have occasional joint pain? Occasional joint pain can be normal, but persistent pain should be checked by a doctor. What are common symptoms of a cold? Common symptoms include a runny nose, cough, and mild fever. What are common symptoms of a cold? Common symptoms include a runny nose, cough, and mild fever. I have a rash. Should I see a dermatologist? Yes, a dermatologist can help identify and treat skin conditions. I have a rash. Should I see a dermatologist? Yes, a dermatologist can help identify and treat skin conditions. What's a good way to boost my immune system? Eat a balanced diet, exercise regularly, and get enough sleep. What's a good way to boost my immune system? Eat a balanced diet, exercise regularly, and get enough sleep. Do you have tickets for the matinee show? Yes, we have a few available for the 2 p.m. show. Do you have tickets for the matinee show? Yes, we have a few available for the 2 p.m. show. How much are the tickets for tonight's performance? They are £25 each for the standard seats. How much are the tickets for tonight's performance? They are £25 each for the standard seats. Is there a discount for students? Yes, students get a 15% discount on their tickets. Is there a discount for students? Yes, students get a 15% discount on their tickets. Can I choose my seat online? Yes, you can select your seats when booking online. Can I choose my seat online? Yes, you can select your seats when booking online. What time does the play start? The show begins at 7.30 p.m. What time does the play start? The show begins at 7.30 p.m. Are there any seats left for the weekend show? Let me check. Yes, there are a few seats left. Are there any seats left for the weekend show? Let me check. Yes, there are a few seats left. Can I get a refund if I can't make it? Refunds are available up to 24 hours before the show. Can I get a refund if I can't make it? Refunds are available up to 24 hours before the show. How long is the intermission? The intermission lasts about 15 minutes. How long is the intermission? The intermission lasts about 15 minutes. Are the tickets refundable if the show is canceled? Yes, full refunds are provided in case of cancellation. Are the tickets refundable if the show is canceled? Yes, full refunds are provided in case of cancellation. Can I buy tickets at the door? Yes, tickets are available at the box office if not sold out. Can I buy tickets at the door? Yes, tickets are available at the box office if not sold out. Where can I find the fresh produce? It's in the section near the back of the store. Where can I find the fresh produce? 
It's in the section near the back of the store. Do you have any special offers on dairy products? Yes, we have a buy one get one free offer on milk. Do you have any special offers on dairy products? Yes, we have a buy one get one free offer on milk. Can you help me find the baking supplies? They're in the aisle next to the cereals. Can you help me find the baking supplies? They're in the aisle next to the cereals. Is there a discount for bulk purchases? Yes, we offer a 10% discount for bulk buying. Is there a discount for bulk purchases? Yes, we offer a 10% discount for bulk buying. Where is the frozen food section? It's located in the left corner of the store. Where is the frozen food section? It's located in the left corner of the store. Can I use coupons for this purchase? Yes, you can use coupons at checkout. Can I use coupons for this purchase? Yes, you can use coupons at checkout. Do you carry organic products? Yes, we have a dedicated section for organic items. Do you carry organic products? Yes, we have a dedicated section for organic items. What's the best time to come for fresh bakery goods? Early in the morning is when they're freshest. What's the best time to come for fresh bakery goods? Early in the morning is when they're freshest. Are there any new arrivals in the store? Yes, we've just stocked new items in the electronics section. Are there any new arrivals in the store? Yes, we've just stocked new items in the electronics section. Can I pay with a credit card? Yes, we accept all major credit cards. Can I pay with a credit card? Yes, we accept all major credit cards. What's the best dish here? Our seafood paella is highly recommended. What's the best dish here? Our seafood paella is highly recommended. Do you have any recommendations for a vegetarian meal? The grilled vegetable platter is excellent. Do you have any recommendations for a vegetarian meal? The grilled vegetable platter is excellent. Which fruits do you consume the most? I love apples, bananas, and cherries. Which fruits do you consume the most? I love apples, bananas, and cherries. Can you suggest a good dessert? Our tiramisu is a popular choice. Can you suggest a good dessert? Our tiramisu is a popular choice. What's a good dish to try for a special occasion? Our filet mignon is perfect for special events. What's a good dish to try for a special occasion? Our filet mignon is perfect for special events. Is there a chef special today? Yes, we have a special crab pasta today. Is there a chef special today? Yes, we have a special crab pasta today. Do you offer any gluten-free options? Yes, our gluten-free lasagna is a great option. Do you offer any gluten-free options? Yes, our gluten-free lasagna is a great option. What's a good appetizer to start with? Our calamari rings are a popular starter. What's a good appetizer to start with? Our calamari rings are a popular starter. What would you recommend for a light lunch? The garden salad with grilled chicken is a good choice. What would you recommend for a light lunch? The garden salad with grilled chicken is a good choice. Do you have any daily specials? Today's special is a spicy Thai curry. Do you have any daily specials? Today's special is a spicy Thai curry. How can I get a library card? You need to fill out a form and show proof of address. How can I get a library card? You need to fill out a form and show proof of address. What are the library's opening hours? We're open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays. What are the library's opening hours? We're open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays. Can I borrow ebooks with my library card? 
Yes, you can borrow ebooks through our online portal. Can I borrow ebooks with my library card? Yes, you can borrow ebooks through our online portal. How many books can I borrow at once? You can borrow up to 10 books at a time. How many books can I borrow at once? You can borrow up to 10 books at a time. Is there a late fee for overdue books? Yes, there's a small fee for each day the book is overdue. Is there a late fee for overdue books? Yes, there's a small fee for each day the book is overdue. Can I reserve a book that's currently checked out? Yes, you can place a hold on it and be notified when it's available. Can I reserve a book that's currently checked out? Yes, you can place a hold on it and be notified when it's available. Do you have study rooms available? Yes, we have study rooms that you can book in advance. Do you have study rooms available? Yes, we have study rooms that you can book in advance. Are there any events or workshops this month? Yes, we have a writing workshop and a book club meeting. Are there any events or workshops this month? Yes, we have a writing workshop and a book club meeting. What should I do if I lose a library book? Report it to the library immediately. We'll help you with the next steps. What should I do if I lose a library book? Report it to the library immediately. We'll help you with the next steps. Can I renew my books online? Yes, you can renew your books through our website. Can I renew my books online? Yes, you can renew your books through our website. When does the flight to New York depart? It departs at 6.45 p.m. from gate 8. When does the flight to New York depart? It departs at 6.45 p.m. from gate 8. What's the baggage allowance for this flight? You're allowed one carry-on and one checked bag. What's the baggage allowance for this flight? You're allowed one carry-on and one checked bag. Is there a delay for flight 203? Yes, it's delayed by an hour due to weather conditions. Is there a delay for flight 203? Yes, it's delayed by an hour due to weather conditions. What time does the flight to Tokyo arrive? It's scheduled to arrive at 3.15 p.m. local time. What time does the flight to Tokyo arrive? It's scheduled to arrive at 3.15 p.m. local time. Can I change my flight to an earlier time? It depends on availability and may incur a fee. Can I change my flight to an earlier time? It depends on availability and may incur a fee. How do I find my gate for the flight? Check the departure board for the latest gate information. How do I find my gate for the flight? Check the departure board for the latest gate information. Where is the nearest lounge for passengers? The lounge is located on the upper level, near gate 10. Where is the nearest lounge for passengers? The lounge is located on the upper level, near gate 10. What's the in-flight meal option for this route? We offer a choice between chicken or vegetarian pasta. What's the in-flight meal option for this route? We offer a choice between chicken or vegetarian pasta. Do I need to show my passport at check-in? Yes, you'll need to present your passport and boarding pass. Do I need to show my passport at check-in? Yes, you'll need to present your passport and boarding pass. Can I upgrade my seat to business class? You can check for available upgrades at the check-in counter. Can I upgrade my seat to business class? You can check for available upgrades at the check-in counter. Do you have any rooms available for next week? Yes, we have several rooms available. Do you have any rooms available for next week? Yes, we have several rooms available. What's the rate for a double room? The rate is $120 per night. What's the rate for a double room? The rate is $120 per night. Can I get a room with a sea view? 
Yes, we have a few sea view rooms available. Can I get a room with a sea view? Yes, we have a few sea view rooms available. Is breakfast included with the room? Yes, breakfast is included in the room rate. Is breakfast included with the room? Yes, breakfast is included in the room rate. Can I check in early? Early check in is subject to availability and may incur an extra fee. Can I check in early? Early check in is subject to availability and may incur an extra fee. What's your cancellation policy? You can cancel up to 24 hours before arrival for a full refund. What's your cancellation policy? You can cancel up to 24 hours before arrival for a full refund. Are there any special offers or packages available? We have a romantic getaway package that includes dinner and spa services. Are there any special offers or packages available? We have a romantic getaway package that includes dinner and spa services. Do you offer airport shuttle services? Yes, we offer a complimentary shuttle service to and from the airport. Do you offer airport shuttle services? Yes, we offer a complimentary shuttle service to and from the airport. Can I request an extra bed in the room? Yes, an extra bed can be provided upon request. Can I request an extra bed in the room? Yes, an extra bed can be provided upon request. What amenities are included in the room? The room includes free Wi-Fi, a minibar, and a flat-screen TV. What amenities are included in the room? The room includes free Wi-Fi, a minibar, and a flat-screen TV. What's the cost to rent a compact car for a week? It's $200 for a week, including basic insurance. What's the cost to rent a compact car for a week? It's $200 for a week, including basic insurance. Can I pick up the car from one location and return it to another? Yes, but there's a drop-off fee for different locations. Can I pick up the car from one location and return it to another? Yes, but there's a drop-off fee for different locations. What's included in the rental price? The price includes unlimited mileage and basic insurance. What's included in the rental price? The price includes unlimited mileage and basic insurance. Do you offer GPS systems with the rental? Yes, we offer GPS as an add-on for an extra fee. Do you offer GPS systems with the rental? Yes, we offer GPS as an add-on for an extra fee. Can I add an additional driver to the rental? Yes, you can add another driver for a small fee. Can I add an additional driver to the rental? Yes, you can add another driver for a small fee. What's the fuel policy for the rental car? We require you to return the car with a full tank. What's the fuel policy for the rental car? We require you to return the car with a full tank. Are there any age restrictions for renting a car? Yes, drivers must be at least 21 years old. Are there any age restrictions for renting a car? Yes, drivers must be at least 21 years old. What should I do if I have an accident with the rental car? Contact the rental company immediately and report the accident. What should I do if I have an accident with the rental car? Contact the rental company immediately and report the accident. Do you offer insurance coverage for the rental? Yes, we offer various insurance options at the counter. Do you offer insurance coverage for the rental? Yes, we offer various insurance options at the counter. Can I rent a car for just one day? Yes, we offer daily rentals as well. Can I rent a car for just one day? Yes, we offer daily rentals as well. What time does the movie start? The film begins at 8 p.m. What time does the movie start? The film begins at 8 p.m. Are there any seats left for the 7 p.m. show? 
Yes, we have a few seats available. Are there any seats left for the 7 p.m. show? Yes, we have a few seats available. Can I book tickets online? Yes, you can purchase tickets through our website. Can I book tickets online? Yes, you can purchase tickets through our website. Is there a discount for children? Yes, children's tickets are half price. Is there a discount for children? Yes, children's tickets are half price. What's the running time of the movie? The movie runs for about two hours. What's the running time of the movie? The movie runs for about two hours. Can I choose my seat when I buy a ticket? Yes, you can select your preferred seat during booking. Can I choose my seat when I buy a ticket? Yes, you can select your preferred seat during booking. Are there any special screenings this week? We have a special screening of a classic film on Friday. Are there any special screenings this week? We have a special screening of a classic film on Friday. What's the refund policy for tickets? Tickets are refundable up to 24 hours before the show. What's the refund policy for tickets? Tickets are refundable up to 24 hours before the show. Do you have any offers for group bookings? Yes, we offer discounts for groups of 10 or more. Do you have any offers for group bookings? Yes, we offer discounts for groups of 10 or more. What type of refreshments are available? We have popcorn, candy, and soft drinks. What type of refreshments are available? We have popcorn, candy, and soft drinks. What's the best way to arrange a meeting for 20 people? Consider booking a conference room with catering options. What's the best way to arrange a meeting for 20 people? Consider booking a conference room with catering options. How can I ensure all participants receive the agenda? Send the agenda via email a few days before the meeting. How can I ensure all participants receive the agenda? Send the agenda via email a few days before the meeting. Is it necessary to have a projector for a presentation? It's recommended if you're showing slides or videos. Is it necessary to have a projector for a presentation? It's recommended if you're showing slides or videos. Can we have lunch delivered to the meeting room? Yes, many venues offer catering services for such requests. Can we have lunch delivered to the meeting room? Yes, many venues offer catering services for such requests. What should be included in a meeting invitation? Include the date, time, location, agenda, and any necessary materials. What should be included in a meeting invitation? Include the date, time, location, agenda, and any necessary materials. How do I handle technical issues during a presentation? Have a technical support person on standby and test all equipment beforehand. How do I handle technical issues during a presentation? Have a technical support person on standby and test all equipment beforehand. Can we arrange for video conferencing equipment? Yes, most venues provide video conferencing facilities upon request. Can we arrange for video conferencing equipment? Yes, most venues provide video conferencing facilities upon request. What's the typical duration for a business meeting? It usually lasts between one to two hours, depending on the agenda. What's the typical duration for a business meeting? It usually lasts between one to two hours, depending on the agenda. How do I follow up after the meeting? Send a summary of the meeting and action items to all participants. How do I follow up after the meeting? Send a summary of the meeting and action items to all participants. What are some good icebreakers for a team meeting? Try short, interactive activities or questions to get everyone talking.
What are some good icebreakers for a team meeting? Try short, interactive activities or questions to get everyone talking. What's a must-see attraction in Paris? You should definitely visit the Eiffel Tower. What's a must-see attraction in Paris? You should definitely visit the Eiffel Tower. Are there any recommended day trips from London? Consider a trip to the Cotswolds or Brighton. Are there any recommended day trips from London? Consider a trip to the Cotswolds or Brighton. What's a good place to relax on a beach vacation? The Maldives offers stunning beaches and a peaceful atmosphere. What's a good place to relax on a beach vacation? The Maldives offers stunning beaches and a peaceful atmosphere. What activities are popular in New York City? You can enjoy Broadway shows, visit Central Park, and explore museums. What activities are popular in New York City? You can enjoy Broadway shows, visit Central Park, and explore museums. What should I pack for a hiking trip in the Alps? Pack warm layers, hiking boots, and plenty of water. What should I pack for a hiking trip in the Alps? Pack warm layers, hiking boots, and plenty of water. What's a unique experience to try in Tokyo? You should try a traditional tea ceremony or visit the Shibuya Crossing. What's a unique experience to try in Tokyo? You should try a traditional tea ceremony or visit the Shibuya Crossing. Are there any must-try foods in Italy? Definitely try authentic pizza, pasta, and gelato. Are there any must-try foods in Italy? Definitely try authentic pizza, pasta, and gelato. What's a good family-friendly destination in the USA? Orlando is great for families, with its theme parks and attractions. What's a good family-friendly destination in the USA? Orlando is great for families, with its theme parks and attractions. What's a fun activity for a solo traveler in Barcelona? Explore the architecture of Antoni Gaudi and visit local markets. What's a fun activity for a solo traveler in Barcelona? Explore the architecture of Antoni Gaudi and visit local markets. Where can I experience the local culture in Mexico? Visit local markets, try traditional foods, and attend cultural festivals. Where can I experience the local culture in Mexico? Visit local markets, try traditional foods, and attend cultural festivals. What's the best destination for a summer beach vacation? Consider the Caribbean for beautiful beaches and warm weather. What's the best destination for a summer beach vacation? Consider the Caribbean for beautiful beaches and warm weather. Can you recommend a summer festival in Europe? The Edinburgh Festival Fringe in Scotland is fantastic. Can you recommend a summer festival in Europe? The Edinburgh Festival Fringe in Scotland is fantastic. What should I pack for a summer trip to Asia? Pack light, breathable clothing, and sun protection. What should I pack for a summer trip to Asia? Pack light, breathable clothing, and sun protection. Where can I find cool summer activities in the USA? Try visiting national parks or enjoying water sports. Where can I find cool summer activities in the USA? Try visiting national parks or enjoying water sports. What's a great summer getaway in Australia? The Great Barrier Reef offers amazing snorkeling and diving opportunities. What's a great summer getaway in Australia? The Great Barrier Reef offers amazing snorkeling and diving opportunities. What's a good summer vacation spot for families? Disneyland in California is perfect for families with kids. What's a good summer vacation spot for families? Disneyland in California is perfect for families with kids. Can you suggest a summer road trip route? The Pacific Coast Highway offers stunning coastal views. Can you suggest a summer road trip route? 
The Pacific Coast Highway offers stunning coastal views. Where can I enjoy summer hiking? The Rocky Mountains in Colorado provide excellent hiking trails. Where can I enjoy summer hiking? The Rocky Mountains in Colorado provide excellent hiking trails. What's a popular summer event in South America? The Carnival in Rio de Janeiro is a vibrant summer event. What's a popular summer event in South America? The Carnival in Rio de Janeiro is a vibrant summer event. What's a relaxing summer destination in Europe? The Amalfi Coast in Italy offers beautiful scenery and relaxing spots. What's a relaxing summer destination in Europe? The Amalfi Coast in Italy offers beautiful scenery and relaxing spots. What cultural events are happening in London this month? There's a new art exhibit at the Tate Modern and a Shakespeare play at the Globe. What cultural events are happening in London this month? There's a new art exhibit at the Tate Modern and a Shakespeare play at the Globe. Are there any music festivals coming up in Berlin? Yes, the Berlin Music Festival is next weekend. Are there any music festivals coming up in Berlin? Yes, the Berlin Music Festival is next weekend. What's a notable cultural event in Tokyo? The Tokyo International Film Festival is quite popular. What's a notable cultural event in Tokyo? The Tokyo International Film Festival is quite popular. Can you recommend a cultural festival in Spain? The La Tomatina Festival in Bunol is a unique experience. Can you recommend a cultural festival in Spain? The La Tomatina Festival in Bunol is a unique experience. What's a famous art event in Paris? The Paris Art Fair showcases contemporary art from around the world. What's a famous art event in Paris? The Paris Art Fair showcases contemporary art from around the world. What traditional festivals are celebrated in Italy? The Venice Carnival is a famous traditional festival. What traditional festivals are celebrated in Italy? The Venice Carnival is a famous traditional festival. What cultural activities are available in New York City? Visit the Museum of Modern Art and attend a Broadway show. What cultural activities are available in New York City? Visit the Museum of Modern Art and attend a Broadway show. Are there any traditional dance performances in Buenos Aires? Yes, you can watch a tango show at various venues. Are there any traditional dance performances in Buenos Aires? Yes, you can watch a tango show at various venues. What cultural events are popular in Sydney? The Sydney Festival offers a range of music, theater, and art events. What cultural events are popular in Sydney? The Sydney Festival offers a range of music, theater, and art events. What's a unique cultural experience in Istanbul? Try visiting a traditional Turkish bath and exploring local markets. What's a unique cultural experience in Istanbul? Try visiting a traditional Turkish bath and exploring local markets. Can you recommend a good laptop for graphic design? The MacBook Pro is highly recommended for its performance and display. Can you recommend a good laptop for graphic design? The MacBook Pro is highly recommended for its performance and display. What's the difference between OLED and LCD screens? OLED screens offer better contrast and colors, while LCDs are usually more affordable. What's the difference between OLED and LCD screens? OLED screens offer better contrast and colors, while LCDs are usually more affordable. Are there any new advancements in smart home technology? Yes, smart home systems now include advanced AI for better automation and control. 
Are there any new advancements in smart home technology? Yes, smart home systems now include advanced AI for better automation and control. What's a good, budget-friendly smartphone? The Google Pixel 6a offers great features at a lower price. What's a good, budget-friendly smartphone? The Google Pixel 6a offers great features at a lower price. Can I upgrade my current computer's graphics card? Yes, if your computer supports it, upgrading the graphics card can improve performance. Can I upgrade my current computer's graphics card? Yes, if your computer supports it, upgrading the graphics card can improve performance. What's the best way to protect my online privacy? Use a VPN and enable two-factor authentication for added security. What's the best way to protect my online privacy? Use a VPN and enable two-factor authentication for added security. Are there any new trends in wearable technology? Wearable tech is focusing on health monitoring features, such as ECG and blood oxygen levels. Are there any new trends in wearable technology? Wearable tech is focusing on health monitoring features, such as ECG and blood oxygen levels. What's the latest update in gaming consoles? The PlayStation 6 is rumored to be in development, but the PS5 is the latest available. What's the latest update in gaming consoles? The PlayStation 6 is rumored to be in development, but the PS5 is the latest available. What's a recommended app for productivity? Notion is a versatile app for managing tasks and projects. What's a recommended app for productivity? Notion is a versatile app for managing tasks and projects. Can you tell us about your camera? I can see the astronauts. Can you tell us about your camera? I can see the astronauts. What's the best museum to visit in Paris? The Louvre is renowned for its extensive art collection. What's the best museum to visit in Paris? The Louvre is renowned for its extensive art collection. Are there any art galleries worth visiting in New York? The Metropolitan Museum of Art and the MoMA are top choices. Are there any art galleries worth visiting in New York? The Metropolitan Museum of Art and the MoMA are top choices. What's a famous cultural landmark in Rome? The Colosseum is a must-see for its historical significance. What's a famous cultural landmark in Rome? The Colosseum is a must-see for its historical significance. What's a well-known theater in London? The Royal Opera House offers world-class performances. What's a well-known theater in London? The Royal Opera House offers world-class performances. Can you recommend a classic novel to read? To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is a timeless classic. Can you recommend a classic novel to read? To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is a timeless classic. What's a significant cultural festival in India? Diwali, the festival of lights, is celebrated with great enthusiasm. What's a significant cultural festival in India? Diwali, the Festival of Lights, is celebrated with great enthusiasm. Are there any notable sculpture parks in the USA? Storm King Art Center in New York is famous for its outdoor sculptures. Are there any notable sculpture parks in the USA? Storm King Art Center in New York is famous for its outdoor sculptures. What's a famous contemporary art museum? The Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao is known for its modern architecture and art. What's a famous contemporary art museum? The Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao is known for its modern architecture and art. Where can I experience traditional Japanese tea ceremonies? Kyoto offers authentic tea ceremonies in various traditional tea houses. 
Where can I experience traditional Japanese tea ceremonies? Kyoto offers authentic tea ceremonies in various traditional tea houses. What's a well known cultural event in Australia? The Sydney Festival features music, theater, and art events. What's a well known cultural event in Australia? The Sydney Festival features music, theater, and art events. What's the check in time for international flights? It's usually recommended to check in at least three hours before departure. What's the check in time for international flights? It's usually recommended to check in at least three hours before departure. Where can I find information about flight delays? Check the departure boards or your airline's app for the latest updates. Where can I find information about flight delays? Check the departure boards or your airline's app for the latest updates. Is there a lounge access for economy class passengers? Economy class passengers typically don't have lounge access, but you can purchase a pass. Is there a lounge access for economy class passengers? Economy class passengers typically don't have lounge access, but you can purchase a pass. What's the procedure for lost baggage? Report it to the airline's baggage claim desk immediately. What's the procedure for lost baggage? Report it to the airline's baggage claim desk immediately. How early should I arrive for a domestic flight? For domestic flights, arriving two hours before departure is generally sufficient. How early should I arrive for a domestic flight? For domestic flights, arriving two hours before departure is generally sufficient. Can I bring liquids in my carry on? Yes, but they must be in containers of 100 milliliters or less and placed in a clear, resealable bag. Can I bring liquids in my carry on? Yes, but they must be in containers of 100 milliliters or less and placed in a clear, resealable bag. What's the policy on bringing pets in the cabin? Pets are allowed in the cabin with a fee and must be in a suitable carrier. What's the policy on bringing pets in the cabin? Pets are allowed in the cabin with a fee and must be in a suitable carrier. How can I upgrade my flight to first class? You can inquire about upgrades at check-in or purchase an upgrade in advance. How can I upgrade my flight to first class? You can inquire about upgrades at check-in or purchase an upgrade in advance. Are there any restrictions on carry-on items? Yes, there are restrictions on sharp objects and certain electronic devices. Are there any restrictions on carry-on items? Yes, there are restrictions on sharp objects and certain electronic devices. Where can I get a customs declaration form? Customs declaration forms are available at the arrival gate or online before you travel. Where can I get a customs declaration form? Customs declaration forms are available at the arrival gate or online before you travel. What's the best way to find sales on designer clothes? Check out online outlets and seasonal sales at high-end stores. What's the best way to find sales on designer clothes? Check out online outlets and seasonal sales at high-end stores. Are there any recommended boutiques in Paris? Yes, Lumere has several chic boutiques with unique items. Are there any recommended boutiques in Paris? Yes, Lumere has several chic boutiques with unique items. What's the current trend in men's fashion? Oversized blazers and relaxed fits are very popular right now. What's the current trend in men's fashion? Oversized blazers and relaxed fits are very popular right now. Can you suggest a good store for quality basics? Uniqlo offers great quality basics at affordable prices. Can you suggest a good store for quality basics? Uniqlo offers great quality basics at affordable prices. Where can I buy sustainable fashion? Look for brands like Patagonia or Reformation that focus on sustainability. 
Where can I buy sustainable fashion? Look for brands like Patagonia or Reformation that focus on sustainability. What's a good tip for shopping for formal wear? Make sure to get a proper fitting and choose classic styles that won't go out of fashion. What's a good tip for shopping for formal wear? Make sure to get a proper fitting and choose classic styles that won't go out of fashion. Are there any popular streetwear brands? Brands like Supreme and Off-White are very trendy in the streetwear scene. Are there any popular streetwear brands? Brands like Supreme and Off-White are very trendy in the streetwear scene. What's the best way to style a casual outfit? Layering pieces and accessorizing with a statement item can elevate a casual look. What's the best way to style a casual outfit? Layering pieces and accessorizing with a statement item can elevate a casual look. Can you recommend a shop for vintage clothing? Try exploring thrift shops or vintage stores like Beyond Retro. Can you recommend a shop for vintage clothing? Try exploring thrift shops or vintage stores like Beyond Retro. What's a good way to keep up with fashion trends? Follow fashion blogs and magazines, and pay attention to runway shows. What's a good way to keep up with fashion trends? Follow fashion blogs and magazines, and pay attention to runway shows. What's a fun activity to do at home on a rainy day? You could try baking a new recipe or have a movie marathon. What's a fun activity to do at home on a rainy day? You could try baking a new recipe or have a movie marathon. Can you suggest a good indoor exercise routine? Yoga or a high-intensity interval training hit a workout can be effective indoors. Can you suggest a good indoor exercise routine? Yoga or a high-intensity interval training hit a workout can be effective indoors. What's a creative way to decorate my living space? Consider DIY projects like custom artwork or upcycling old furniture. What's a creative way to decorate my living space? Consider DIY projects like custom artwork or upcycling old furniture. What's a relaxing evening activity? Reading a book or taking a long bath can be very soothing. What's a relaxing evening activity? Reading a book or taking a long bath can be very soothing. What's a good way to organize a home office? Invest in some storage solutions and keep your workspace clutter-free. What's a good way to organize a home office? Invest in some storage solutions and keep your workspace clutter-free. Can you recommend a fun board game to play with friends? Codenames and Settlers of Caton are great choices for game nights. Can you recommend a fun board game to play with friends? Codenames and Settlers of Caton are great choices for game nights. What's a good hobby to pick up at home? Try gardening indoors or starting a new craft like knitting. What's a good hobby to pick up at home? Try gardening indoors or starting a new craft like knitting. What's a nice way to spend a weekend at home? You could work on a home project or have a spa day with DIY treatments. What's a nice way to spend a weekend at home? You could work on a home project or have a spa day with DIY treatments. What's a good indoor activity for kids? Crafting or building a fort can keep children entertained. What's a good indoor activity for kids? Crafting or building a fort can keep children entertained. How can I make my home more eco-friendly? Start by reducing waste, using energy-efficient appliances, and recycling. How can I make my home more eco-friendly? Start by reducing waste, using energy-efficient appliances, and recycling. What's a good investment strategy for beginners? Start with diversified index funds or ETFs to minimize risk. What's a good investment strategy for beginners? Start with diversified index funds or ETFs to minimize risk. How can I start investing in real estate? Create a monthly budget, track your expenses, and stick to your financial goals. How can I start investing in real estate? 
create a monthly budget, track your expenses, and stick to your financial goals. What's the difference between stocks and bonds? Stocks represent ownership in a company, while bonds are loans made to a company or government. What's the difference between stocks and bonds? Stocks represent ownership in a company, while bonds are loans made to a company or government. Can you recommend a savings account with high interest rates? Look for online banks or credit unions that offer high-yield savings accounts. Can you recommend a savings account with high interest rates? Look for online banks or credit unions that offer high-yield savings accounts. How can I start investing in real estate? You can start by researching property markets and considering rental or investment properties. How can I start investing in real estate? You can start by researching property markets and considering rental or investment properties. How do I improve my credit score? Pay your bills on time, keep your credit utilization low, and regularly check your credit report. How do I improve my credit score? Pay your bills on time, keep your credit utilization low, and regularly check your credit report. What's the importance of an emergency fund? An emergency fund provides financial security for unexpected expenses or emergencies. What's the importance of an emergency fund? An emergency fund provides financial security for unexpected expenses or emergencies. Can you explain the concept of compound interest? Compound interest is the interest on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest. Can you explain the concept of compound interest? Compound interest is the interest on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest. What's the best way to plan for retirement? Contribute to retirement accounts and invest in different options. What's the best way to plan for retirement? Contribute to retirement accounts and invest in different options. What's a common mistake people make with credit cards? Accumulating debt and not paying off the balance in full can lead to high interest charges. What's a common mistake people make with credit cards? Accumulating debt and not paying off the balance in full can lead to high interest charges. What's the best way to prepare for a standardized test? Use practice tests and study guides to familiarize yourself with the format and content. What's the best way to prepare for a standardized test? Use practice tests and study guides to familiarize yourself with the format and content. Can you recommend a good online course platform? Platforms like Coursera and Udemy offer a wide range of courses. Can you recommend a good online course platform? Platforms like Coursera and Udemy offer a wide range of courses. What are effective study techniques for exams? Active recall, spaced repetition, and creating study guides are effective techniques. What are effective study techniques for exams? Active recall, spaced repetition, and creating study guides are effective techniques. How can I improve my writing skills? Practice writing regularly and seek feedback from others to improve. How can I improve my writing skills? Practice writing regularly and seek feedback from others to improve. What's a good approach to learning a new language? Immerse yourself by practicing with native speakers and using language learning apps. What's a good approach to learning a new language? Immerse yourself by practicing with native speakers and using language learning apps. How can I stay motivated while studying? Set clear goals, create a study schedule, and reward yourself for achieving milestones. How can I stay motivated while studying? Set clear goals, create a study schedule, and reward yourself for achieving milestones. What's a helpful resource for learning coding? Websites like Code Academy and Free Code Camp offer interactive coding lessons. What's a helpful resource for learning coding? Websites like Code Academy and Free Code Camp offer interactive coding lessons.
How can I make the most of group study sessions? Assign roles, stay focused on the material, and discuss concepts actively. How can I make the most of group study sessions? Assign roles, stay focused on the material, and discuss concepts actively. What's a good strategy for managing time while studying? Use a timer and break study sessions into focused intervals with breaks in between. What's a good strategy for managing time while studying? Use a timer and break study sessions into focused intervals with breaks in between. What's the benefit of joining a study group? Study groups provide diverse perspectives and support for difficult topics. What's the benefit of joining a study group? Study groups provide diverse perspectives and support for difficult topics. What's a good tip for traveling on a budget? Book flights and accommodations in advance and look for deals and discounts. What's a good tip for traveling on a budget? Book flights and accommodations in advance and look for deals and discounts. Where's a great destination for a cultural experience? Cities like Kyoto, Athens, or Cairo offer rich cultural experiences. Where's a great destination for a cultural experience? Cities like Kyoto, Athens, or Cairo offer rich cultural experiences. What should I pack for a tropical vacation? Pack light clothing, sunscreen, and swimwear. What should I pack for a tropical vacation? Pack light clothing, sunscreen, and swimwear. What's a must-see attraction in Sydney? The Sydney Opera House is an iconic landmark worth visiting. What's a must-see attraction in Sydney? The Sydney Opera House is an iconic landmark worth visiting. What's a good way to stay safe while traveling abroad? Stay aware of your surroundings, keep valuables secure, and follow local advice. What's a good way to stay safe while traveling abroad? Stay aware of your surroundings, keep valuables secure, and follow local advice. Can you suggest a relaxing travel destination? The Maldives or Bali offer stunning beaches and a peaceful environment. Can you suggest a relaxing travel destination? The Maldives or Bali offer stunning beaches and a peaceful environment. What's a useful app for travel planning? Google Maps and TripIt are great. What's a useful app for travel planning? Google Maps and TripIt are great. Where's a good place to experience local cuisine? Try visiting local markets and street food vendors for an authentic taste. Where's a good place to experience local cuisine? Try visiting local markets and street food vendors for an authentic taste. What's a good tip for traveling with children? Pack snacks and entertainment to keep them occupied during the trip. What's a good tip for traveling with children? Pack snacks and entertainment to keep them occupied during the trip. Which countries do you visit the most? Countries like Italy, Spain, Turkey and France have impressive places to visit. Which countries do you visit the most? Countries like Italy, Spain, Turkey and France have impressive places to visit. What's a common use for Instagram? Instagram is commonly used for sharing photos and short videos with followers. What's a common use for Instagram? Instagram is commonly used for sharing photos and short videos with followers. How can I grow my audience on YouTube? Create engaging content, optimize your videos with keywords, and promote your channel on social media. How can I grow my audience on YouTube? Create engaging content, optimize your videos with keywords, and promote your channel on social media. What's a popular meme trend right now? Trends often shift quickly, but currently, memes involving AI-generated art are gaining popularity. What's a popular meme trend right now? Trends often shift quickly, but currently, memes involving AI-generated art are gaining popularity. What's a key feature of TikTok? TikTok is known for its short, creative videos and trending challenges. 
What's a key feature of TikTok? TikTok is known for its short, creative videos and trending challenges. How can I manage screen time effectively? Set daily limits on app usage and take regular breaks from screens. How can I manage screen time effectively? Set daily limits on app usage and take regular breaks from screens. What's a popular online platform for professional networking? LinkedIn is widely used for connecting with professionals and job searching. What's a popular online platform for professional networking? LinkedIn is widely used for connecting with professionals and job searching. What's a common type of content on Twitter? Twitter is often used for sharing updates, news, and personal opinions in short tweets. What's a common type of content on Twitter? Twitter is often used for sharing updates, news, and personal opinions in short tweets. How can I protect my online accounts from being hacked? Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication for added security. How can I protect my online accounts from being hacked? Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication for added security. What's a trending podcast genre? True crime podcasts continue to be very popular among listeners. What's a trending podcast genre? True crime podcasts continue to be very popular among listeners. What's a benefit of participating in online communities? Online communities provide support, information, and networking opportunities on various topics. What's a benefit of participating in online communities? Online communities provide support, information, and networking opportunities on various topics. How do I properly feed a horse? Horses need a mix of hay and grains, and fresh water should always be available. How do I properly feed a horse? Horses need a mix of hay and grains, and fresh water should always be available. What's the best way to groom a horse? Use a curry comb to loosen dirt and a brush to remove it. Check hooves regularly. What's the best way to groom a horse? Use a curry comb to loosen dirt and a brush to remove it. Check hooves regularly. How often should a horse be exercised? Ideally, horses should be exercised daily, but it depends on their age and health. How often should a horse be exercised? Ideally, horses should be exercised daily, but it depends on their age and health. What should I check for in a horse's stall? Ensure the stall is clean, dry, and free from hazards. Regularly check for adequate bedding. What should I check for in a horse's stall? Ensure the stall is clean, dry, and free from hazards. Regularly check for adequate bedding. How can I tell if a horse is sick? Look for changes in behavior, appetite, or signs like coughing and fever. How can I tell if a horse is sick? Look for changes in behavior, appetite, or signs like coughing and fever. What's an essential piece of equipment for riding? A properly fitted saddle and bridle are crucial for comfortable and safe riding. What's an essential piece of equipment for riding? A properly fitted saddle and bridle are crucial for comfortable and safe riding. How do I introduce a new horse to the herd? Introduce them gradually and monitor their interactions to prevent aggressive behavior. How do I introduce a new horse to the herd? Introduce them gradually and monitor their interactions to prevent aggressive behavior. What's a common health issue in horses? Colic is a common issue, characterized by abdominal pain. Regular vet checkups are important. What's a common health issue in horses? Colic is a common issue, characterized by abdominal pain. Regular vet checkups are important. How do I prepare a horse for a show? Ensure they are well-groomed and practice the routines. Transport them comfortably and safely. How do I prepare a horse for a show? Ensure they are well-groomed and practice the routines.
transport them comfortably and safely. What's the best way to manage a horse's diet? Consult a vet for a balanced diet based on the horse's age, work level, and health. What's the best way to manage a horse's diet? Consult a vet for a balanced diet based on the horse's age, work level, and health. What should I pack for a weekend at a mountain cabin? Pack warm clothing, sturdy footwear, and essentials like food, water, and a first aid kit. What should I pack for a weekend at a mountain cabin? Pack warm clothing, sturdy footwear, and essentials like food, water, and a first aid kit. How do I safely start a fire in a mountain cabin? Use dry kindling and small logs, and ensure proper ventilation. Follow safety guidelines to prevent accidents. How do I safely start a fire in a mountain cabin? Use dry kindling and small logs, and ensure proper ventilation. Follow safety guidelines to prevent accidents. What's a good way to stay warm in a mountain cabin? Layer your clothing, use blankets, and keep the fireplace or stove running. What's a good way to stay warm in a mountain cabin? Layer your clothing, use blankets, and keep the fireplace or stove running. How can I keep pests out of the cabin? Seal gaps, store food properly, and use pest traps or repellents. How can I keep pests out of the cabin? Seal gaps, store food properly, and use pest traps or repellents. What should I do if the power goes out? Use flashlights and candles safely, and have a backup plan for heating and cooking. What should I do if the power goes out? Use flashlights and candles safely, and have a backup plan for heating and cooking. How do I handle waste disposal at a remote cabin? Use designated waste bins or composting methods and follow local guidelines for waste disposal. How do I handle waste disposal at a remote cabin? Use designated waste bins or composting methods and follow local guidelines for waste disposal. What's a safe way to hike in the mountains? Wear appropriate gear, carry a map and compass, and inform someone of your route and plans. What's a safe way to hike in the mountains? Wear appropriate gear, carry a map and compass, and inform someone of your route and plans. How do I prepare for sudden weather changes in the mountains? Check the weather forecast, pack versatile clothing, and be prepared to seek shelter if necessary. How do I prepare for sudden weather changes in the mountains? Check the weather forecast, pack versatile clothing, and be prepared to seek shelter if necessary. What's a good way to entertain yourself at the cabin? Bring books, games, or hobbies like knitting or sketching to enjoy during your stay. What's a good way to entertain yourself at the cabin? Bring books, games, or hobbies like knitting or sketching to enjoy during your stay. How can I ensure the cabin is secure? Lock all doors and windows, and consider adding additional security measures if necessary. How can I ensure the cabin is secure? Lock all doors and windows, and consider adding additional security measures if necessary. I'm lost, can you help me find my hotel? Sure, I can look up the address for you or guide you if you have a map. I'm lost, can you help me find my hotel? Sure, I can look up the address for you or guide you if you have a map. How do I use public transportation to get to the city center? You can take the bus or train. Check the schedule and route information online or at a station. How do I use public transportation to get to the city center? You can take the bus or train. Check the schedule and route information online or at a station. What should I do if I can't speak the local language? Use a translation app or seek help from someone who speaks your language. What should I do if I can't speak the local language? 
Use a translation app or seek help from someone who speaks your language. Can you recommend a nearby landmark or place of interest? There's a popular museum and park just a few blocks away that you might enjoy visiting. Can you recommend a nearby landmark or place of interest? There's a popular museum and park just a few blocks away that you might enjoy visiting. How can I find a taxi in this area? Look for a taxi stand or use a ride-sharing app on your phone. How can I find a taxi in this area? Look for a taxi stand or use a ride-sharing app on your phone. What's the best way to get directions in a foreign city? Use a map app on your phone or ask locals for clear, step-by-step -step directions. What's the best way to get directions in a foreign city? Use a map app on your phone or ask locals for clear, step-by-step -step directions. Can you help me find a place to eat around here? There are several restaurants nearby. I can recommend a few based on what type of food you like. Can you help me find a place to eat around here? There are several restaurants nearby. I can recommend a few based on what type of food you like. What should I do if my phone battery dies and I'm lost? Try to find a public place with a phone charging station or ask for assistance from locals. What should I do if my phone battery dies and I'm lost? Try to find a public place with a phone charging station or ask for assistance from locals. How can I stay safe while I'm lost? Stay in well-lit areas, avoid isolated spots, and contact your hotel or local authorities if needed. How can I stay safe while I'm lost? Stay in well-lit areas, avoid isolated spots, and contact your hotel or local authorities if needed. What's a good way to avoid getting lost again? Mark your route on a map or use GPS navigation to keep track of your location. What's a good way to avoid getting lost again? Mark your route on a map or use GPS navigation to keep track of your location. I struggle to express my ideas clearly in meetings. Any tips? Prepare your key points in advance and practice them to gain confidence. I struggle to express my ideas clearly in meetings. Any tips? Prepare your key points in advance and practice them to gain confidence. How can I improve my ability to speak up in conversations? Start by practicing with friends or family and gradually increase your participation. How can I improve my ability to speak up in conversations? Start by practicing with friends or family and gradually increase your participation. What's a good way to overcome the fear of public speaking? Practice regularly and consider joining a public speaking group to build your skills. What's a good way to overcome the fear of public speaking? Practice regularly and consider joining a public speaking group to build your skills. How can I better communicate my feelings to others? Use dia statements to express how you feel and what you need clearly and calmly. How can I better communicate my feelings to others? Use dia statements to express how you feel and what you need clearly and calmly. What's an effective method for organizing my thoughts before speaking? Outline your main points and use them as a guide when you speak. What's an effective method for organizing my thoughts before speaking? Outline your main points and use them as a guide when you speak. How can I stay calm when discussing sensitive topics? Take deep breaths, stay focused on the issue, and listen actively to the other person. How can I stay calm when discussing sensitive topics? Take deep breaths, stay focused on the issue, and listen actively to the other person. What's a strategy for expressing disagreement without conflict? Use constructive feedback and offer alternative solutions rather than just pointing out problems. What's a strategy for expressing disagreement without conflict? Use constructive feedback and offer alternative solutions rather than just pointing out problems. 
How can I ask for help when I'm unsure how to articulate something? Be honest about your difficulty and ask for clarification or suggestions from others. How can I ask for help when I'm unsure how to articulate something? Be honest about your difficulty and ask for clarification or suggestions from others. What's a way to build confidence in my verbal communication? Practice speaking in front of a mirror or record yourself to review and improve. What's a way to build confidence in my verbal communication? Practice speaking in front of a mirror or record yourself to review and improve. How can I handle situations where I feel misunderstood? Clarify your points and ask for feedback to ensure your message is being received correctly. How can I handle situations where I feel misunderstood? Clarify your points and ask for feedback to ensure your message is being received correctly. My car broke down. What should I do? Call a tow truck or roadside assistance and stay safe while you wait. My car broke down. What should I do? Call a tow truck or roadside assistance and stay safe while you wait. I think I might be lost. Can you help me with directions? Of course. Where are you trying to get to? I think I might be lost. Can you help me with directions? Of course. Where are you trying to get to? Is there a gas station nearby? Yes, there's one just down the road on the right. Is there a gas station nearby? Yes, there's one just down the road on the right. Can you recommend a good route to avoid traffic? Try taking the side streets, they're usually less congested. Can you recommend a good route to avoid traffic? Try taking the side streets, they're usually less congested. Where's the nearest public restroom? There's a rest area about 5 miles ahead. Where's the nearest public restroom? There's a rest area about 5 miles ahead. I'm having trouble with my GPS. Look for the big red building. It's a well-known landmark. I'm having trouble with my GPS. Look for the big red building. It's a well-known landmark. My phone's out of battery. Can I use your charger? Sure, you can use it, but make sure to return it when you're done. My phone's out of battery. Can I use your charger? Sure, you can use it, but make sure to return it when you're done. Can you tell me how to get to the nearest hospital? Head straight and take the second left. The hospital will be on your right. Can you tell me how to get to the nearest hospital? Head straight and take the second left. The hospital will be on your right. How long will it take to reach the city center from here? It should take about 20 minutes depending on traffic. How long will it take to reach the city center from here? It should take about 20 minutes depending on traffic. Are there any safe places to wait for a ride around here? You can wait in the cafe across the street. It's a safe and comfortable place. Are there any safe places to wait for a ride around here? You can wait in the cafe across the street. It's a safe and comfortable place. What's the best way to tackle a long to-do list? Prioritize tasks and break them into smaller, manageable steps. What's the best way to tackle a long to-do list? Prioritize tasks and break them into smaller, manageable steps. How can I stay motivated to complete household chores? Set a timer for short bursts of cleaning and reward yourself after completing tasks. How can I stay motivated to complete household chores? Set a timer for short bursts of cleaning and reward yourself after completing tasks. What's an effective method for keeping track of appointments? Use a calendar app with reminders or a physical planner to stay organized. What's an effective method for keeping track of appointments? Use a calendar app with reminders or a physical planner to stay organized. How can I manage unexpected tasks that come up? 
Add them to your to-do list and adjust your schedule accordingly. How can I manage unexpected tasks that come up? Add them to your to-do list and adjust your schedule accordingly. What's a simple way to declutter my living space? Start with one room at a time and sort items into keep, donate, or discard piles. What's a simple way to declutter my living space? Start with one room at a time and sort items into keep, donate, or discard piles. How can I create a cleaning routine that works? Develop a weekly schedule with specific tasks for each day to keep things manageable. How can I create a cleaning routine that works? Develop a weekly schedule with specific tasks for each day to keep things manageable. What's a good strategy for handling daily errands efficiently? Plan your route and group errands by location to save time and effort. What's a good strategy for handling daily errands efficiently? Plan your route and group errands by location to save time and effort. How do I keep track of my daily expenses? Use a budgeting app or a simple spreadsheet to monitor and categorize expenses. How do I keep track of my daily expenses? Use a budgeting app or a simple spreadsheet to monitor and categorize expenses. What's a practical approach to managing personal tasks? Create a daily checklist and prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance. What's a practical approach to managing personal tasks? Create a daily checklist and prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance. How can I stay organized with multiple ongoing projects? Use project management tools or apps to track progress and deadlines for each project. How can I stay organized with multiple ongoing projects? Use project management tools or apps to track progress and deadlines for each project. What's a good way to develop a new skill? Set specific goals, find resources or courses, and practice regularly. What's a good way to develop a new skill? Set specific goals, find resources or courses, and practice regularly. How can I stay motivated while studying? Create a study schedule, break tasks into smaller parts, and reward yourself for completing them. How can I stay motivated while studying? Create a study schedule, break tasks into smaller parts, and reward yourself for completing them. What's an effective technique for improving concentration? Minimize distractions and use the Pomodoro technique to focus in short, manageable bursts. What's an effective technique for improving concentration? Minimize distractions and use the Pomodoro technique to focus in short, manageable bursts. How can I enhance my public speaking skills? Practice in front of friends or family and seek feedback to improve your delivery. How can I enhance my public speaking skills? Practice in front of friends or family and seek feedback to improve your delivery. What's a good way to set and achieve personal goals? Use the SMART criteria, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. What's a good way to set and achieve personal goals? Use the SMART criteria, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. How can I find a mentor in my field? Network within your industry, attend events, and reach out to professionals whose work you admire. How can I find a mentor in my field? Network within your industry, attend events, and reach out to professionals whose work you admire. What's a useful strategy for effective time management? Prioritize tasks, use a planner or app, and delegate when possible. What's a useful strategy for effective time management? Prioritize tasks, use a planner or app, and delegate when possible. How can I improve my writing skills? Read regularly, write often, and seek feedback from others to refine your technique. How can I improve my writing skills? 
read regularly, write often, and seek feedback from others to refine your technique. What's the best way to prepare for a professional certification exam? Study the exam content outline, use practice tests, and join a study group if possible. What's the best way to prepare for a professional certification exam? Study the exam content outline, use practice tests, and join a study group if possible. How can I overcome procrastination? Break tasks into smaller steps, set deadlines, and tackle the most challenging tasks first. How can I overcome procrastination? Break tasks into smaller steps, set deadlines, and tackle the most challenging tasks first. What's a good daily skincare routine? Cleanse, moisturize, and apply sunscreen daily to maintain healthy skin. What's a good daily skincare routine? Cleanse, moisturize, and apply sunscreen daily to maintain healthy skin. How can I improve my dental hygiene? Brush and floss regularly, use mouthwash, and visit your dentist for checkups. How can I improve my dental hygiene? Brush and floss regularly, use mouthwash, and visit your dentist for checkups. What's an effective way to maintain a healthy weight? Combine regular exercise with a balanced diet and monitor your portion sizes. What's an effective way to maintain a healthy weight? Combine regular exercise with a balanced diet and monitor your portion sizes. How can I create a wellness plan that fits my lifestyle? Set realistic health goals, incorporate activities you enjoy, and make gradual changes to your routine. How can I create a wellness plan that fits my lifestyle? Set realistic health goals, incorporate activities you enjoy, and make gradual changes to your routine. What's a good strategy for managing stress in daily life? Practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, exercise regularly, and ensure you have time for hobbies. What's a good strategy for managing stress in daily life? Practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, exercise regularly, and ensure you have time for hobbies. How can I ensure I'm getting enough sleep each night? Maintain a consistent sleep schedule, create a restful environment, and limit screen time before bed. How can I ensure I'm getting enough sleep each night? Maintain a consistent sleep schedule, create a restful environment, and limit screen time before bed. What's a healthy approach to dealing with minor injuries at home? Treat injuries with appropriate first aid and seek medical attention if needed. What's a healthy approach to dealing with minor injuries at home? Treat injuries with appropriate first aid and seek medical attention if needed. How can I improve my overall fitness level? Incorporate a mix of cardiovascular, strength, and flexibility exercises into your routine. How can I improve my overall fitness level? Incorporate a mix of cardiovascular, strength, and flexibility exercises into your routine. What's a good way to stay hydrated throughout the day? Drink water regularly and adjust your intake based on activity level and climate. What's a good way to stay hydrated throughout the day? Drink water regularly and adjust your intake based on activity level and climate. How can I incorporate more healthy foods into my diet? Plan meals with a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and prepare meals at home when possible. How can I incorporate more healthy foods into my diet? Plan meals with a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and prepare meals at home when possible.